Hi everybody, welcome to journaling with me. I'm Himali and this is your first journaling video where we are going to discuss about why do we need to do journaling or how is journaling different from just writing uh, stuff and what exactly do we keep in mind while we are in the process of journaling. So we all must have read many benefits of journaling that it is good for mind it is good to remember it helps you all keep yourself organized it helps you heal and stuff like that but what exactly happens or uh, why can't everybody do journaling because there are different steps and there are main um, you know uh, ways in which you need to uh, go ahead with this journaling and why is that so before we learn with the exact uh, types of uh, journaling and exact different uh, ways in which you can do this uh, journal we will first understand what does not work all right or why let's say we have um, different we have all tried to write something or the other when we were young maybe uh, in some diaries or we take down some notes or some sticky notes here and there to-do list here and there right we also tend to uh, crave to buy those uh, planners and organizing uh, books that comes at the end of uh, December for the new year okay they all are very tempting but why don't we end up utilizing it the correct way or why does it feel like a waste of time instead of a use of time is what we are trying to uh, understand in this process let us just Make sure that whenever you are uh, watching this video, just keep a simple pen and a notebook uh, with you. Any simple notebook is fine, plain is preferred. Uh, let us talk that we have um, diaries. Let us say we know what are notes or you know those to-do task uh, sheets or something, right? Let's say we know what are um, planners. Okay, I'm talking about those books and those uh, organizers that um, we use in offices, right? So, how is this different from journal is what we are going to understand, right? So, in diary, what let's say um, in we write down like dear diary moment or, you know, we write down that, okay, today I went this, uh, I went to this place and I ate this, I, I met these people, I did this and stuff like that, right? So what are we writing in the diary? We are trying to write uh, memories. We are trying to write what we feel in the diaries, correct? Then in notes, let's say those sticky notes, you know, stuff like that. I always have this on my table. So we have such sticky notes, then uh, the to-do list, which... We generally tend to have on a fridge, etc., where we write messages and stuff like that. So basically, if you want to learn something or if you want to give some message or if you want to do some, uh, if you if you basically have to do something, right? Or let's say learn something in case of school kids, they take down notes in books, right? So or even when I, you will be listening to this video, looking at this video, you all will be writing your own notes, Correct. So notes is something where we do something, where we learn something and stuff like that. Planner is, um, you know, those time wise, they have this column that from this much to this much time, I will be doing this. Um, I have a meeting at this particular time. I have a class at this particular time. I have to go to pick somebody at this particular time and stuff like that. Right. So those planners are basically for your actions. OK, so we have understood what is diary writing uh, notes writing or planners we will try to understand how is this thing different from journaling okay so journal is a place where you can do all of it all right now we know that these has limitations we cannot write our to-do list in our daily diary because what is the use of writing what we are going to shop today in your uh, precious memory diary? doesn't work that way. We cannot write what we feel on our sticky notes. 
करेक्ट वी कैन नॉट राइट योर लॉन्ग टाइम गोल्स इन योर मंथली और वीकली प्लानर्स करेक्ट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे हैव लिमिटेशन हाव एव जर्नल डज नॉट हैव अ लिमिटेशन इट कैन बी यूज एज ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड मोर बेसिकली इट इज एन ओपन टू मोल्ड हाव एव यू वॉन्ट इट टू यू कैन कीप इट एज अ डायरी यू कैन कीप इट एज अ नोट नोट पैड यू कैन कीप इट एज अ प्लानर यू कैन कीप इट एज एन expressive uh, journal you can keep it as a dream journal a bullet journal you can use it for recipe books and so many different stuffs okay now i am not saying that uh, there should be different diary or different book or different journal for every part of your thing it will be so messy it will be so time consuming at times those who actually don't uh, know the proper steps and reasons for journaling they end up uh, taking books and books which are uh, unwritten plain beautiful nice diaries which feel really attractive at the beginning but it remains plain because you don't know what you want to write in it all right and then what happens at times if you even know if you're ready to write in it you will just uh waste more time in writing rather than doing at times we feel that so much time if i had given in actually doing that particular stuff so instead of writing it down in my journal it would be better right so all these things happen when you are not aware about the proper steps of journaling and this is what we are going to learn throughout the year when we will be doing different kinds of journaling but before that let us understand why is a journal all in one thing okay so uh, you know um, you must be uh, aware about if you all are from science field uh, good enough but if you're not you all must at least i'm sure uh, be aware about these science journals that um the scientists keep or for that matter even you know in schools and colleges they have this book they have this uh, journal right a science journal wherein they uh, write experiments all right so uh, let's say they have one particular experiment you know those books which are uh, which has two kind of pages in on one side they have place where they can write and on the other side it's a blank page where they can draw something or they have some tables or maybe some graph or something like that right so those journals which kids use in book those were mainly for making experiments now what what are the Uh, the steps of the experiments were always fixed irrespective of whether um, what whether it is a biology experiment journal or a chemistry experiment journal or a physics experiment journal the steps always remained same what were the steps if you can recollect it was first step was uh, aim correct then we had a uh, principle then we had apparatus correct then we had procedure then observation then conclusion or we also had results before that then we had inference uh then on this page we had construction or diagram or anything which was um like to be made like tables graphs etc correct so what was this about so uh, let us consider uh, one example of an uh, you know one experiment right now all right let us say let us consider a very simple experiment where the kids had to make some uh, instrument or some container such that uh if you put an egg in that container and if you drop it from let's say four stories building it will not fall correct so you have to make a container so that will be your aim now that aim is based or that aim is um 
just helped along this experiment is helped along with basic principles like insulation it is helped with uh, force principle of uh, gravity and uh, pressure and stuff like that which is already known correct so principle and aim are different principle is we know all these things these are the facts aim is we have to use this fact to do to build a container so that was what was aim and principle then comes apparatus apparatus means materials correct so uh, let's say they are building some thermocol or maybe some uh, cotton insulated container so they know that okay i need such plastic container I need cotton balls i need stuffs to keep the egg in place some grooves some cardboard so all these are the materials fine then procedure procedure means all right you make this first you take this size of the cardboard you make this size box then you cut it in uh, uh, cut a lid put some cotton and stuff like that right the steps that is the actual action that is supposed to be taken that was the procedure then the observation so what happens you make that uh, container then next was start experimenting you uh, let loose that container with the egg from let's say fourth floor and then it falls down and then you do an observation you make an observation saying that okay the egg is uh, egg did not uh, break or the egg cracked or the container cracked but the egg is safe or both egg and container cracked and stuff like that correct then you come to maybe that is that can be your result as well so you observe that and you just note it down in a result column then comes a conclusion or your final results basically that okay this is how i conclude that this container is safe so this is or if it doesn't work this is how i conclude that this container is not safe so further what to do now right so inference can be uh, make more of these if it is safe uh, multiply this container or send uh, an idea to a company who will produce or finance this or if it is not safe you can uh, in inference you will be writing in like uh, what else can you do correct and then maybe the diagram on your uh, right side page and so on so what was happening what did we do we made a scientific journey we did a journaling in a notebook in a way where proper steps were followed correct now this was this is the actual journaling that the kids know that the scientists know okay and this is there since anyone has ever started their education correct and not only for science but for other subjects as well now this concept of journaling was mainly structured to remember stuff so our first idea of doing journaling is to remember okay so now there were many experiments that were done in this way there are hundreds of experiments no one is going to remember all of it in detail right let's say the height the length the weight all these things was uh, too difficult to remember point to point and that's why they wrote it down so that they can remember all right and even if they forget they can always see let's say if you have some scientist journal if you are making some new experiment you can refer to it and then you can say that okay referring to it if this is not working you are definitely not going to spoil your waste your time in that fine this was the whole idea about journaling in previous times okay or about journaling in scientific times let us say we are going to use the same thing at a very basic level at a very uh, you know level at home let's say you want to cook a healthy diet recipe okay so you do an experiment for that and you are let us say journaling for that particular recipe all right so that's your aim your aim is to find out a good you or a, to cook a good diet meal you know the principles what are the principles in this okay so your cholesterol is high you need to use food that reduces your cholesterol you need to use food you need to have uh, stuffs that does not have sugar you need to, so you, you need to 
make some quick uh, meal because you don't have time. You have to go to the office after cooking and eating and cleaning and all those things. So all these facts that you already know based on which your recipe will be dependent is your principle. Now you have an idea. You gather all your, you make a to-do list and you gather all your supplies, right? Whatever ingredients you want or whatever utensils you want. Fine, you gather all of that and that comes under apparatus. That is material. Then what you do? You start making a list. That's step by step. Okay, put so much uh, spoons of this, put so much oil, heat it for this, this so and so time, warm it for this and stuff like that. Fine, that comes under your procedure. Then you observe. That okay, this, this ingredient took only one minute to cook. This ingredient didn't cook well. It needed uh, pressure cooking. So all this is your observation. You note that down. Then your conclusion comes like depending if you have a good result, if you have good meal, if you like it, that will be your conclusion that okay, so and so result occurred from so and so uh, cooking and I liked it. And we can uh, take this forward. Right, and in inference, you say that you have a fixed new recipe. Now, let's say you didn't like it, or it is good, but it is time consuming. So, that will be your conclusion, and your inference will be that okay, I need some other meal because although this is good, I can use it when I have lots of time, but I need something that gets prepared in 20 minutes because I have to go to office and stuff like that. Fine, so this is what you can also add a picture, maybe a screenshot or a printout of uh, the recipe or the steps or just a final, uh, you know, nicely served and decorated dish in the area of the diagram. So, the same scientific experiment, if it is done in a day-to-day -day task and if you write it, although if you don't use these particular words, you just note it down in a notebook, that is journal. It's not, it's not just scientific journaling, that's it. The words will change depending on whatever words you like. Okay, so uh, that is basically, that is exactly what is journaling. What happened in this also, you remember things. But that's not all. Okay, we have to take this one step ahead. Why? Because we are not targeting to remember stuff. Of course, it helps that way. But not only that way, we are targeting something else as well. What are we targeting? We are targeting mental health. All right. And when we are targeting mental health, we are targeting two main stuffs. One is biological stuff. Right. That is, uh, if I talk about biology of the mental health. So what will that come? That will be mainly the brain development. And by brain development, I mean... Um, the increase in number of neurons. What are neurons? Neurons are the cells of the brain. Right? Having new neural pathways. So number of uh, neurons are like, uh, you know, those small bricks. Which will join and join and join and make uh, big roads. Right? So by increasing the number of neurons, I will have a new neural pathway. So how is that going to help? Let's say uh, there is only one road for uh, going to different, different places and every, everyone is using that same road. There definitely has to be a traffic jam in that road, right? Let us say if there are many different roads and you can, all the roads are connected. So what will happen? You can go from one road. If that is jam, you can try some another route. If that is jam, you can go through, through somewhere else. The same thing happens with the thoughts. Okay, so roads are your neural pathways. And thoughts are basically the cars that is going from one place to another. So you feel stuck if there are less neural pathways in your brain, if there are less neurons, you feel stuck because there is only one way and even that is blocked. You won't be having different ideas. You won't be uh, knowing how to go about a problem if there is one, right? If you have more new neurons built up, the new neurons will join to each other and form some connecting bridges. It may form some connecting different roads. And maybe that is the way if uh, at one place your thoughts are stuck. It may take some other path and you may get your conclusions on your own. This is what we are doing uh, biologically if we consider journaling for mental health. 
again psychologically also so psychological benefits that will be what instead of brain development i will call it mind development and now what is the difference between the brain and the mind the brain is most mostly a uh, scientific thing so it's like a computer it works this way right however mind is something where you feel you understand you uh, you reason you question you ask stuffs fine you feel good you feel bad you judge stuffs all these things happen in your mind although uh, it's no particular thing however the work center is the brain itself but that's the psychology of the brain while uh, talking about neurons and building roads and stuffs like that was the scientific part of the brain fine so along with the scientific development of the brain we need the mindful development as well okay and in this what will happen how will the mindful development occur this will occur only it will not occur only if you remember stuffs when you remember your neurons are getting built fine good enough but if you want to grow if you want to feel good if you want to like if you want to move ahead you need to repeat your process of growth and not just stay there okay so once let's say if you do something good you built a neural pathway your ideas click you feel nice your neurons develop your different roads develop but you need to keep on repeating it you need to take actions towards it in order to actually make new pathways so if you repeat new pathways will be formed then what will happen let's say you made that uh, recipe correct if you just make it once and forget it it's not going to work you need to try doing that again find once again and again and again and every single day different kind of neural pathways will be formed and therefore different kind of emotions or let's say feelings or uh, let us say even the chemicals that produce in the brain will be created and this will give different observations daily different uh, inference daily right different conclusions daily and daily you will follow some kind of development whether it is a brain development or a mind development and this is what is going to help you to grow again once it is developed you need to repeat the process right now what do i mean by repeating the process again and again do i have to write the whole thing again and again daily even if it is the same thing no this is where actual journaling comes in picture so if it is a scientific journal you write this again and again daily but that is crazy right just to make once we when we established a recipe and if i'm cooking daily i don't have the time to just sit and write it daily correct so in this case what do i write i write only the new thing that happened that particular day all right and that new thing that happened that particular day is going to help you biologically to make new neurons and those neurons are the ones those new neurons are the ones will form those will form new bridge to do the same thing in a different way or maybe with even one new neuron if it is formed it is going to just establish new connections okay and that is the whole idea of journaling again there is one more r so we have two r's one is to remember one is to repeat there is one more r here which is very important in case of journaling otherwise there is without that r there is no point in writing down stuffs for a long term of time and that r is nothing but reflection okay so after remembering we did repeating after repeating we have to do one more thing which is called reflection without which the process of journaling is not be considered complete now what is reflection let's say um 
you feel like itching on your uh, maybe hand okay or let's say on your face okay there's some itching on your face so what will you do you will just um, look at the you'll just try to find out that what has caused this itching is it a mosquito bite is it some other insect bite right and then what you do is you just try to see in the mirror and uh, you apply some medicine or you wash it off and you make sure that that um, itch or that uh, pimple or whatever that thing is there on your face goes away right so what you did you reflected your face in the mirror and you eradicated whatever your problem was okay let us say you go to some uh, place and you come back home with the same thing once again okay what will happen that same thing repeated fine again what you'll be doing is you will put some medicine you will itch, you will clean and your problem is solved Let's say for the third time you went to that same place and again you got a mosquito bite and you came back and same thing happened again and again and again and again. You will understand that okay that particular place has many many mosquitoes. So next time I will go with a repellent or I will not go to that particular place altogether. Correct? This is called reflection. So when something happened you remember it. Okay, when you repeat it, it makes more neurons and it teaches your brain how to do the same thing again, better way, in a different way. When you see that, when you recollect all of it, when you reflect on it, you understand whether it is good for you, whether it is bad for you, whether it is working for you, whether it is not working for you. And that is when you will understand how to grow. Unless you reflect, if you keep on going to the same place, you are not going to keep on coming back and again keep on uh, doing the same um, activity for your insect bite repeatedly, correct? You will, one fine day, you will understand that, okay, this place is not good. Or if you have to go to that place, you will take measures beforehand. And this process of understanding is what is reflection. Fine. This was fine if it was external, you saw in the uh, mirror and you helped yourself. But what will happen if the bite, let's say toxic bite, is not bitten your face but has bitten your thoughts? No mirror is going to show you your bites of your thoughts. Okay, The um, harm on your thoughts, you cannot see it. We will not be able to reflect on anything unless we see it. Journaling is a method where you can see what you have written. You can see what you felt. You can see what your thoughts are. Which you cannot in any other way. And hence you can reflect on them correctly. This is the main and the most important benefit of journaling. Why people fail at diary writing or taking down notes or planners or making beautiful art journals or maybe crafting stuff, sticking stickers here and there, making it look exclusive, uh, making those mood boards, vision boards, uh, habit trackers and all these stuffs and yet fail in doing what they actually want to do because of journaling is because they do not reflect or is because they do not repeat at first place but even if they repeat they fail that is because they do not reflect all right so throughout the year when we will be doing this journaling stuffs we will keep in mind that we are doing journaling to remember something, to have a memory of something or to uh, revise something or to recollect something. Remembering everything comes in that. It comes uh, in the revision, can be the same part of remembering the recollection can be the same part of remembering all right that is basically to remember fine 
then we need to repeat it we need to form a habit of this journaling just journaling once and just concluding that oh this was not fun this was waste of time is not going to help you need to do that again and again and again and again and that is when you will understand when you have done it for a multiple period of time that is when you will have a vision to go back and reflect on whether this particular thing has worked for you or not there is a very basic difference between a treatment and a therapy what is a treatment you have a stomach ache you go to the doctor the doctor understands from your symptoms that all right this and this so and so microorganisms must have entered your body through so and so food that you have eaten which you informed him he gives you a set of medicines for a set of days and your and your problem is solved this is called a treatment all right but in therapy there are no of course there are uh, basic symptoms that the psychiatrist or the psychologist or the trained counselors will understand fine also there are uh, some uh, ways in which uh, they will ask you questions they will ask you like okay what you did where did you go what do you feel and they will prescribe you some list of activities which you have to do it's not just like medicine that you pop and you you're done okay there is this list of activities which you have to take down the first thing if you have been to any psychologist or any uh, counselor or a therapist or a psychiatrist is what they ask you to do is just take down a book and write in it they ask you to do journaling correct because that helps they ask you to write daily why daily because writing once is not going to help all right it might help you to remember but definitely new neurons will not be formed that's the reason you need to write daily so that new repeated neurons are formed new pathways is formed new bridges are made new ide- new uh, space is made for your ideas to flow for your thoughts to flow new pathways are developed for you to understand that okay you're not stuck at one place there are different things to do once you have a set of many many such days of journaling done you can reflect come back to it you can reflect your whole process and then decide what you have to do ahead yes it can be that this is not working for me that is fine but to decide to come to that decision you need to first do all these three things only then you will be able to understand whether that thing has worked for you or not worked for you okay this is what is therapy and this is how therapy is different from a treatment so journaling is considered as a therapy and this is the reason why journaling is considered as a therapy right so apart from this basic understanding uh we will first focus on bullet journaling uh that is the basic type of journaling which uh, in which you can it's like the most flexible system okay uh, one thing i would like to say that bullet journal is not just that dot grid book okay it can be done in anything bullet journaling is like a method it's a pattern it's a, a system that is supposed to be followed and that system is so flexible that everybody anybody can follow for everything and anything they want to do whether it is one or 100 things whether it is a kid or uh, an office person or a homemaker or anybody can use that particular thing so throughout the year we will talk about bullet journaling at the same time throughout the year we will try to learn different types of journals apart from bullet journaling and then you can uh, make and you can stick to uh, whichever feels good for you whichever feel correct correct for you right but for that remember that you have to at least start and try up to some uh, particular days and not just once okay so um different kind of journaling that we are going to do is requires different skills again it's not rocket science i'm not asking you to have beautiful calligraphic handwriting to journal i'm not asking you to be a great artist to have an uh, sketchbook or a doodle journal or i'm not asking you to make amazing uh, you know uh, mistake proof mandalas no all right basic skills fine which we will talk about every time when we um, do different kind of journaling and more important is you need to have time now i'm not asking you to uh, invest 
um, you know hours and hours of this daily no i'm not asking you to invest hours and hours monthly no i'm not even asking you to do it on weekly basis it is few minutes out of the whole day let's say 15 minutes okay or 20 minutes fine or even if you have some time let's say weekly some some day when you have holidays or some day when you have a big space for yourself maybe one hour but for more than that you do not require yes in the initial phase you might let's say this video will come to around uh, 45 minutes uh, by the time i complete it right so maybe one day two day you will need such time but not daily okay we are doing journaling we are learning how to journal so that it helps us in time effectiveness and it does not stresses us out okay yes initially till you have uh, got a knack of reflection you will understand that uh, it is taking up your time but when you feel that please please connect with me and let me know that tari this is not working for me this is taking lots of time is it right is it wrong i will help you out okay please keep in mind that this will take a a bit amount of time on the in the initials but then later uh, it will be very easy and um, it will not be very time consuming i can assure you that all right let us say um let's say if you have artistic skills okay even basic ones and you have time journaling will be a perfect thing you know uh, kids are creative uh, kids have time they for them the journaling thing are different kinds of journals which work for them because not only they uh, can find time from their schedule but they are also inborn artists okay in some way or the other fine so for kids we have some separate set of journaling then let us say you are artistic but uh, you don't have time okay uh, mostly this happens with uh, homemakers and i don't mean just by females okay i'm male and female both anyone who is doing the regular chores of the home they need they have a particular skill set which is there in their mind they have a uh, skill set of manipulation they have skill set of time management and only and only such people can manage home right so anyone who is a homemaker has artistic skills anyone who cooks has artistic skills anyone who uh, just uh, maybe rides bicycles or plays some kind of sports or music they all have artistic skills by art i don't mean by painting and art but all these things which require mul multiple parts of the brain to function together is what is skills okay so let's say if you are artistic but the problem is you don't have time there are some separate kind of journaling for them as well let us say there are people who have lots of time but are not at all artistic that's okay fine we have separate sets of journaling for them as well fine let's say you are unfortunate enough that you don't you are not artistic at all and you do not have time at all as well i know uh, people in my family who of course don't have time because they um, for the day long jobs and also they can't make a simple symmetrical heart either it is crooked on one side and nice on one side all right either they either too fat on one side and too small on one side they cannot even achieve a simple symmetry they consider themselves highly non artistic people and they don't have time not to worry if you are one of them we have types of journaling for this as well fine the only thing for any kind of journaling is willingness willingness to give time not to me but to yourself because what needs to be formed is a habit and since this is a good habit your brain will take time to adapt to it but once it is adapted it will stay for you with you forever if you pick up any 
history or biography of any famous person you like i'm not saying any famous person uh, money wise i'm not saying any famous person achievement wise any famous person let's say who whom you like whether it be from the uh, art field whether it be from science field or sports field or technology field or even someone who is like really uh, idol in your family they all have the habit of journaling and by journaling keep in mind it doesn't mean making beautiful diaries or amazing sticky notes yes all these things help right but that is not it there is a lot more to journaling and the whole idea of journaling is this and this is what we will be doing in our future videos in our uh, all the uh, next steps okay so um, this was about the introduction to journal i will see you uh, in the next video where we will be starting with our first type of journaling for this year okay thank you very much bye bye